Rub up your engines. Adam Darby says, have you had any negative health effects from handling oils, cleaners, and solvents over the years? No, because if you notice, a lot of times when I'm seriously working and not just making videos, I wear these rubber gloves and my wife got me them decades ago because I used to work on a lot of Mercedes diesels and in the winter I couldn't get the diesel black off my hands she wouldn't be touching her with dirty hands so she bought me them for a Christmas joke present well it didn't turn out to be much of a joke it's great I use them all the time and if you notice I work outside and if you also notice I have that giant big text humongous fan well it blows the smell away so whenever I'm using solvents and stuff I stand upwind and the fan blows all the smells downwind and they dissipate in the atmosphere so if you're working inside a sealed atmosphere yes you have to worry about that but I work outside and I'm blowing the stuff away so that's something that you really want to think about I mean I knew a guy years ago he ran a body shop and his son worked there and his son I'm watching him clean his hands and he had a big drum of lacquer thinner that they used when they painted cars. He just took the top off, he stuck his hands in, and he cleaned his hands and took them out. Well, one, it's messing with the lacquer thinner, but two, your skin is absorbing all that lacquer thinner. I don't know, the guy probably ended up dying from pancreatic cancer or something from all that stuff going in, so you want to be careful around solvents. Royal C says, what do you think about buying a used VW Touareg with 40,000 miles on it? Well, if you can get it for practically nothing, go ahead, but those Volkswagen Touaregs are one of the highest maintenance cars in the world. It's basically, you know, it's got the same engine in it, most of them that the Porsches have in them. You know, Volkswagen owns Porsche, and they swap a lot of technology back and forth. They are endless money pits as they age. But that said, now I have had customers buy used Volkswagens for practically nothing, and they drove them for a couple of years, and they were okay cars because they do handle great. There's no arguing that. They're fun to drive around. But don't ever pay much money for one because they're endless money pits as they age and their resale value pff, goes like a stone so keep that in mind Jamie 67L my rocker panels under my car door are all rotten out how can I fix those things on the cheap once those rocker panels start rusting they're garbage don't believe any of these nonsense YouTube videos where guys show you fix rust with Bondo I sand it off and then put some Bondo on it and then paint it bunch of nonsense you can cover it up and if you're going to sell the car and you're really good at painting yeah you might fool somebody for a while but that rust is going to come right out water's still going to get inside and it's going to rust and the bond is going to fall off too the only way you can fix rust is by cutting the old stuff out welding new metal on and then painting it priming it and painting it that's it so you know if you want to mess around with bondo buy twelve dollars of bondo and try painting this stuff it's a lot of work to get it done right and it won't last believe me i've seen people try when i was a kid of course i tried and of course it always just leached back through in a year or two and looked horrible again so Third girl, Scotty, I've been using PB Blaster on my hinges and it's just not working. I need a different spray. Boy, there's all kinds of sprays out there. That's why I check all those things out. You know, if you watch that video I just made on how to make your tools last forever, that's a new spray that's out there that seems to work better than the other ones. The PB Blaster, been advertising kind of secretly for years. and Oh, this is a secret. This one works better than any others. And I tried it, but, you know, it didn't seem to work any better than the other ones ones and uh, in your case not even working on the hinges so you know can't believe advertising you can only believe the experience that you see with your own eyes do with your own hands and then try stuff out and see what works and in that respect hey all you viewers out there hey tell me about the silicone sprays or penetrating sprays that you've had the best results with then I'll try some of those out too because I'm always open-minded I can find something that works better I'll buy it I've got no qualms nobody's got their hooks in me if something's better I'll buy it, use it, and tell people about it. Canty123 says, they said you can get to Narnia through Scotty's Garage. Well, maybe you can, you know, it's a magical place. That's why I don't want it to change. <laughs> I'm comfortable there, you know. I got to admit, yeah, I'm kind of a hoarder. There's stuff all over the place. But you don't believe stuff that sometimes 20 years later I need something. Sure enough, underneath all that junk, yeah, I remember I put it in a box somewhere. I go in and get it, and there it is. There's really a sense of accomplishment when there's something that you can use to fix something. It's been sitting there all those years, you know. Also, I am totally, 
totally anti-planned obsolescence society. So if I have something that works, I don't want to throw it away. I want to keep it. Even if it's only a Scotty museum when I'm gone, people can say, here's Scotty's garage. Here's tools he used to fix stuff with that. <laughs> Although my wife says, when I call God, she's just going to open a garage and put up a sign, free tools, anybody that wants it can come get them. <laughs> She probably will do that too, but I don't know. My great grandfather conked out when he was 95, and I'm in better shape than him, so could be a long time. Could be a long time. So, if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.